Create the same character in multiple images with Mid Journey. Hello, my friends, how are you doing? Today I have a really amazing video for you. And this is a culmination of tutorials I've done before, showing you how to blend images in Mid Journey, showing you how to create consistent characters from different perspectives. So check out these two videos. Then Robomar sent me a trick on using a seed to create the same character in multiple images, but still with the same scenes. Now, one of your comments says, hey, you've stolen this from tokenized AI. And I said, who? Who is that? I didn't know that channel, so I checked it out. And this is a really cool channel doing a similar video that I'm doing right now. So check that video out too. His video is more technical. He's going into a lot of detail. I want to show you a more playful and easier method, but it is fairly similar. So don't worry about stealing anything. We are here as YouTubers to share knowledge with you and with each other. By the way, I received my YouTube award for 100,000 followers. Thank you very much to every single one of you. Now I think I'm a certified YouTube legend. <laughs> Still single though, so anybody is willing to adopt a lonely nerd. <laughs> Anyways, let's get started here with the video. So we are actually starting the magic off in the community feed of Mid Journey. The reason for that is here you have a lot of inspiration, different characters, different scenes, different landscapes, different art styles, and you can get inspired by that. So if you find something, you can use that to merge it together. So for example, I found this beautiful image here from the user Les Pars, and then I found this image here from the user Irene. And I want to merge both of them together, but I want to have the same character, this character here with the blonde hair and the white and red uniform sitting on that throne. So of course, what we need to make this happen is to link to both of these images. And then also I'm going to use this prompt here as my initial prompt, but also I'm changing it to describe the character more. So in essence, my prompt looks like this. First, the image link of the woman on the throne, then the image link of the portrait. And then I'm writing white shot, beautiful young fae queen on her throne. Here is the description now of what I want to have the person look like. Blonde hair, wearing red and white uniform. Delicate, detailed, elaborate, silver filigree, photorealistic, HD, soft light, AR 2x3, V4, Q2 for quality 2. Now you can see here that this gives us beautiful images with the same character. The clothing, of course, is a little bit different, but the character is sitting on the throne and has similar features. Now, of course, I need to point out here that this is not Dream Booth. It's not Laura. So we don't get the exact same character with the exact same facial features. As a matter of fact, the facial features are a little bit of the weakness of this technique because you can get a fairly similar looking character, but the facial features will often be different enough so that this will be not exactly the same person, but still the method works really great. Now let me show you the same method, but only using the image of one person without the background. So we can put that person into any kind of background. So I found this beautiful image here by the user bubble wrap mummy. You can see we have a very nice young woman with this kind of hairstyle. Remember that then we have a white tank top and then we have black athletic shorts. So of course, when we are going back now to mid journey, we are again using the link of this image at the start of our prompt. But after that, I'm writing my own prompt. I'm writing and this is important to describe the person in the image so that mid journey knows what you want to get. So I'm writing woman wearing a white tank top and black shorts walking in a park minus minus AR two by three and then version four. And as you can see, again, we are getting really amazing images back. Not all of them are exactly the same as the person. So you have to do rerolls. So while this technique works with just using one image and then describing the scene, you can also, of course, merge the person into a scene that you have prepared before. So it gives you a little bit more control. So in this case, what I'm doing here is I first describe the scene with a prompt 
Paris on a summer day photorealistic 8K AR 16x9 so that I get several scenes that I can choose from. And of course you can reroll until you get the scene you like. This will set up for you more of the scenery, the style, the lighting and give you more control in that way. After you have selected one of these images, what you want to do is to upscale them to give you more detail. So in this case, I have here this Paris street scene with the Eiffel Tower in the background. Next, I'm using a link to that upscaled image and then also to the image of the woman I've showed you before. And here in the prompt, I'm writing woman wearing a white tank top, wearing black shorts, walking in Paris, AR 16 version four. So we get here four different suggestions. Again, we have to reroll. You have to decide which of them works the best for you. Of course, again, what you want to do here is to upscale the image to give it more detail. And I would say the result we get here is pretty beautiful and the person is close enough to the original image. So as you can see, this is an amazing technique to put a person into all kinds of backgrounds and create, for example, a graphic novel. Let me know in the comments what you think about this. Leave a like if you enjoyed this video and see you soon. Bye. Oh, you're still here. So uh, this is the end screen. There's other stuff you can watch like this or that's really cool. And yeah, I hope I see you soon. Uh, leave a like if you haven't yet. And well, um, yeah.